So, there's a lot of people that ask me about uh, sidewall indentations, so I want to talk about that. If you look on the internet a lot, you'll see a lot of people uh, confused about uh, what causes it and what to do about it. Uh, and there's a lot of misinformation out there, especially on some of the forums. So, uh, I'm going to try to stay, straighten out some of the confusion, and uh, hopefully uh, at the end of this you'll be able to tell whether it's good or bad. Okay. This is a typical sidewall indentation. You can see this. And you tend to see it more on uh, tires that have a, a really tall sidewall. Uh, for example, truck tires, uh, larger car tires, uh, tires that have more high pressure in them like truck tires. And usually you're going to see more than one. You can have three to four regular spaced indentions around the tire. Uh, and it's perfectly normal. I want to stress that. This is perfectly normal. Okay, um, it's nothing to worry about, so you don't tell your customer he needs to replace this tire, or don't tell your friend or buddy that his tire's bad. One good way to look at these indentions, uh, if you find one on the tire, is look around, you'll probably find more. You usually find two or three, maybe four, around the circumference of the tire. Um, if you see these evenly spaced indentions, there is absolutely no reason uh, to worry about them. Uh, when they manufacture a radial tire, they have radial belts or cords uh, made out of fabric and steel that run around the outside sidewall of this tire. And basically where they overlap or join, you'll see an indentation. So you may see two, three, um, indentations around the tire. One of them usually will be a little worse, but you'll see them around the tire. Uh, so when you see more than one indentation, don't panic, don't worry about it. That's a perfectly normal situation. Um, you see them when the tire is cold more often. Um, once you drive the tire and warm up the tire, they tend to go away or disappear. So if a car is sitting out in the parking lot that's been driven, you may not notice them. If it's been setting overnight, uh, and the customer comes out to his car, he may notice it and uh, say, hey, something's wrong with my tire. Uh, but again, it's really not anything to worry about. It's just a byproduct of radial tire construction. Now there is something to worry about, and that's called protrusion. If you look at this tire on the left, you can see this is not an indentation. This is a protrusion that's sticking out. Uh, this is severe and uh, needs to be replaced. When you see this, uh, there's two things that usually cause this. One of them is a manufacturer's defect in the tire itself. Um, beads broke or uh, air got through the beads uh, into the outer layer of the tire. Or you hit something and broke those bead or, uh, cords in the tire. So remember we talked about tires, they have uh, belts, corded belts that come through here and you may have hit a pothole or a curb and broke some of those belts allowing the tire to bulge out. Um, you, know, you could have some inner liner problems where it's leaking in, air out, uh, but either way, tire needs to be replaced. Over on the right, you can see another example of indentations. This is perfectly normal. You'll see it on taller tires like truck tires, trailer tires, things like that. So, If you see this on your boat trailer tire, uh, don't panic. I want to talk again about the protrusion. Uh, it's caused by separated belts or cords in the sidewall. When we protrude out, that means air pressure is pushing those cords out. Think of this uh, as straps that hold the tire in and together. And what we've done is we've broke them, broke them and allowed it to kind of separate out or push out, bulge out. So anytime you see this, uh, you need to replace it. Um, if you have a bulge in one spot, uh, you remember indentations will have three to four indentations, and this, uh, if we have protrusion, usually is only one spot around the tire protruding. There's usually not two or three. So, if you see one spot, uh, that means you probably have a defective tire or you've damaged the tire running over something. Either way, it's damaged and it needs to be replaced. And and I hope that has uh, cleared up some of the difference and uh, confusion about indentation and whether it's a concern or not. Um, protrusion's bad, indentations are normal, 
so next time you see those you'll be able to explain them to your buddy or your customer and uh, help them uh, know what to do.